Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. We have a set I, which is a subset of complex numbers, and we have to represent it in a complex plane. So I is a collection of all complex numbers which satisfy that condition. Mod Z plus one minus two I is equal to two. So we will start our solution with that condition. So let me write it here. We have, we have, mod. Z plus one minus two i is equal to two. So in most of the cases, what we do, we replace Z by its Cartesian form x plus i y. So let me replace Z by x plus i y. So therefore, mod x plus i y plus one minus two i is equal to two. So here actually we have to find the value of mod, but before that we will collect real part and imaginary part. So here the real part is x and one. So let me collect them x plus one, and the imaginary part that means terms having i, i y minus two i. So let me take i common y minus two. So let us take uh, the value mod of this complex number. So you are familiar with the definition of mod. So the definition is square root of square of real part, right, plus square of imaginary part is equal to two. I don't like square root, so for, to remove the square root, I will take square of both sides. Let us take square of both sides, so square root will get cancelled. Okay, and here on that side we will have two square. So actually, this is very standard equation of circle. So let me write here the standard equation of circle is x minus a square plus y minus b square is equal to r square. So this is the standard equation of circle, and its center is a comma b, and radius is r, right? So let us compare this equation with that. So let me mention this is a circle. So this is a circle we have got, and center. So tell me what will be the center? So if you compare. We get a is equal to minus one. Getting a is equal to minus one because actually in the definition we have minus sign. We don't have minus sign. We can easily adjust. Plus means what? Minus minus. So x minus minus one. That is nothing but plus. So that's why the center is minus one. Here, if you compare the second bracket, b is equal to two. So its center is minus one comma two, and radius. Let us talk about radius. Tell me what will be the radius. Obviously, the r is equal to two. So we got a circle with center minus one comma two and radius two. So let us draw on that side. Just make a screenshot of it. So let us draw circle. Okay. So what is the center? We have minus one comma two. Minus one is here. Two is here. So the center will be here. Okay. And radius is two. So that means on that side we should go to here two and on this side. And below also. So let me draw the rough sketch of that circle. Okay. So this is the circle we have. Just a minute. Uh, let me write it. Draw that circle properly. So we have a circle like this. So I is set of all complex number which satisfy that condition. It means the points which lie on this circle. So that is nothing but our set I. So make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you